Okay, so now we're going to talk about uh, symplectic partition to Runge-Kutte methods. Okay, and we're going to uh, see how you can uh, then cast them in the form of a variational integrator. So let me briefly remind you, it's like of what a symplectic partition could method looks like. So recall that uh, a, I'm just going to put them, call them as a SPRK, a symplectic partition runge kutta method, right, has the form. Okay, so you have Q1 is equal to Q0 plus H times the sum of uh, j equals one to s of bj uh, qj dot, okay? And then p1 equals to p0 plus uh, h the sum from j equals one to s uh, bj tilde uh, pj dot. Okay, so right now I'm really actually just writing a, a partitioned runge kutta method. And uh, re partition refers to the fact that uh, the position variables, the Qs, and the momentum variables, the Ps, uh, are treated differently. They have uh, different quadrature rules, right? So there's a Bj and a Bj tilde. Uh, and then the same is true of the uh, internal stage equations, okay? So you have Qi is equal to Q0 plus H, the sum from uh, J equals one to S of Aij Qj dot, right? And the same thing for the momenta. Uh, pi is equal to p0 plus h the sum from j equals 1 to s of a tilde ij uh, p j dot, okay? And then uh, i goes from 1 to s, where s is the number of stages, okay? Uh, and then we have to say something about what the, uh, the, the vector field comes from. So, uh, and I'm going to write this in Lagrangian form. So. Uh, Pi is going to be uh, dl d q dot uh, qi qi dot. Okay, so the way you should think about this equation is that it implicitly defines to you uh, what uh, qi dot is in terms of the other things. Um, uh, and that's fine. It's like if the Lagrangian is regular and uh, sort of the Legendre transform, which this really is, the Legendre transform is invertible. Okay, so this is really an implicit way, if you will, of writing down what Q dot is in terms of Q and P. Uh, and then uh, P dot uh, is just given by uh, dl dQ at QI and qi dot, right? So again, you should think of this as implicitly specifying uh, sort of qi dot as a function of qi and pi, if you will. Okay, so that's really what's happening here. Okay, um, so uh, in a regular Runge Kutta method, it's a, a non partition Runge Kutta method, then BJ uh, and BJ tilde would be equal to each other, and AIJ and IJ, AIJ tilde would be equal to each other. Okay? So, okay, so what makes the partition Runge Kutta method symplectic then is some conditions on the Runge Kutta coefficients. Okay? So, the condition for symplecticity. the following, that, um, okay, so bi a tilde ij plus uh, b tilde j a j i um, is equal to um, bi b j tilde, uh, and this is true for i j from 1 to s, and then bi has to equal to bi tilde, and this has to be true for i equals one to s. Okay, so these are the symplecticity conditions, if you will. All right, um, and um, all right. So so let's not worry too much about this for now. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do then is we're going to assume, if you will 
that um, you have a symplectic partition ring CUDA method, uh, which has uh, where the coefficients, the ring of CUDA coefficients, or the partition ring of CUDA coefficients, satisfy this condition for symplectricity. Okay, and then we want to show, if you will, it's like that the uh, sort of the discrete one-step method or the one-step method, which is generated uh, by this, uh, can be viewed as the discrete Hamiltonian map for some discrete Lagrangian. Okay. So, so what do we do? So the claim is that uh, sort of the SPRK method, right, uh, is right the same, if you will, as uh, the Ham discrete Hamiltonian map. some discrete Lagrangian, LD, so LD uh, Q0, Q1, and H is equal to H, the sum from uh, I equals to 1 to S of BI, uh, L evaluated at QI and QI dot, okay, where um, the sort of internal stages, if you will, uh, Come from um, come from it's like this system, right? Where the internal stages sort of qi qi dot um, basically satisfy this set of equations. Let's call that star. Okay. So, uh, if you will, that's um, really the part of the uh, symplectic partition CUDA method, which define the um, internal stage values. Okay, uh, and uh, and again, in particular, it's like these. Of course, it's like give you what the vector fields are, um, and so um, if you will, it's like these equations then give you a system of S, uh, well, two S equations, right? Because there's uh, a sort of a partitioning into two sets of variables, and they are S of the positions, S of the momenta. So they are two S equations uh, and two S unknowns, right? Which are the uh, the QI and the PIs. And then once you know the QIs and PIs, uh, you can use the continuous Legendre transform and invert it to give you the QI dots from uh, from knowing the QI and the PI, right? So um, so anyway, so the point, if you will, is that the QI and the QI dots, uh, which uh, show up in this discrete Lagrangian uh, are obtained from solving this system of internal stage equations. Okay, and, uh, and then if you can do that, uh, then the claim, if you will, is that you can construct a discrete Lagrangian which uh, involves some sort of quadrature approximation uh, involving those internal stage values. Uh, and then when you look at the discrete Hamiltonian flow map associated with that discrete Lagrangian, uh, you get a uh, one-step method, which is really just this symplectic partition Roger Kuda method. Okay, so um, so let's try to show that. Okay, so let's uh, so that's uh, try to maybe state the theorem a bit more formally. Then we'll try to prove it. Okay, so the theorem states that uh, the discrete Hamiltonian map generated uh, by the discrete Lagrangian Lagrangian looks like LD Q0 Q1 H, right, is equal to this kind of quadrature approximation, H times the sum of BI, where I goes from 1 to S of the Lagrangian evaluated at QI QI dot, 
right? Uh, where again, QI and QI dot satisfy some internal stage equations. Okay. Uh, okay, so where QI, QI dot satisfy sort of internal stage equations. Okay, is a symplectic partition Rogokuda method. Okay, so that's the theorem. So let's try to prove it now. only need to check really that um, the you know it's like the equations are certain equations are satisfied okay so you look at the derivative of the discrete Lagrangian uh, respect to Q0 right we want to show essentially that discrete all Lagrange equations are satisfied uh, and Q0 Q1 okay So, so that's equal to uh, the time step. Um, let's see, h times the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi. All right, and then uh, you have to do, you know, um, <coughs> partial derivatives of these. It's like you have to do the chain rule, basically, right? So you have uh, dl dq. Uh, the qi, the q0, plus uh, dl, the q dot, the qi dot, the q0. Okay, uh, and then we know something about dl, dq, and dl, uh, the q dot, um, because they're related to, um, if you recall, it's like the momenta uh, and its time derivative, okay? So this is equal to h times the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi uh, dl dq. Oops, sorry. That is the momentum, or the time derivative of the momentum, right? So that's uh, pi dot. OK. Um, right. Um, and then dqi dq0 plus uh, pi d qi dot dq zero. Okay. All right. Um, so now we have to uh, differentiate the definition uh, for qi. Okay. So the definition for qi, if you recall, it's like come from the expression for the uh, partition Brunkakuda method. So you consider uh, the definition of qi. qi equals to Q0 plus H, the sum from J equals 1 to S, right, of AIJ uh, QJ dot. Um, okay. I want to differentiate this respect to Q0. Okay, so Q0 in general is going to be a vector. So, uh, so the QI, the Q0 is going to be the identity matrix, right? Plus H times the sum from uh, J equals one to S of AIJ, right? Uh, the QJ dot the Q0, okay? All right, so we can substitute it into this term here, okay? So, so that means that uh, the LD, the Q0 of Q0, Q1 is equal to uh, H, the sum from um, 
i equals 1 to s of bi uh, dl, okay, pi dot, okay. Then uh, this expression for the qi uh, dq0, right? So identity plus h to sum from j equals 1 to s of aij dqj dot dq0, all right, um, plus, uh, okay, so I want to do something similar. It's like for the momentum equations, okay. Uh, so I want to do something similar. Well, I, actually, I'm sorry. What I want to do is I want to write down pi. It's like uh, in terms of uh, the other terms which come from the partition Rogukuda method, which is that uh, pi is equal to um, I'll write this as p0 plus h to sum from j equals 1 to s of a i j tilde, right? p uh, j dot, okay? All right, plus, okay, so p0 plus h to sum from j equals 1 to s of a i j tilde p j dot times uh, dq i dot dq zero, okay? All right, so, so that sort of looks, uh, you know, pretty promising, right? Because now it's like both terms here have a pi dot or pj dot or and a, a dqj dot dq zero, right? So both of them look like they're in a similar form. Um, and so, uh, so we can do something with that. Okay, so, uh, so let's see where we are with this. So this is equal, okay, so I'm going to um, maybe draw a line here, All right? So this is equal to um, h times the sum from i equals one to s of bi, okay? pi dot plus p zero d q i dot d q zero, um, okay, um, so I'm just sort of looking at uh, this term times this term plus this term times this term, okay? And then I'm looking at, uh, and then I'm leaving the rest of them. Those, those are, uh, so if you will, this is the term which is linear in H and then there are terms which are higher order in H, right? So plus H squared, okay, the sum from i equals 1 to s, the sum from j equals 1 to s of, uh, now you have a term which uh, shows up, it's like in the uh, conditions for simplicity, right? So you get uh, bi uh, aij tilde plus bj uh, aji, uh, all right, times um, times uh, pj dot times dq <coughs> dot uh, i dq zero, okay? All right, um, then now you can uh, use uh, the simplicity identity. So if you recall, the simplicity identity says that um, this combination here looks like um, bi uh, b j tilde, okay? Um, and then furthermore, it's like uh, bi is equal to b j tilde, right? Uh, and then also uh, bi equals to B I tilde. Okay, so so let's just get rid of the tilde here. Okay, all right. Um, so now once you've done that, right, you can interpret this thing as being uh, the product of two things. Okay, so let's see what happens. So where were we, right? We have dl, d, dq zero, 
that q0, q1 is equal to h times the sum from uh, i equals 1 to s of bi pi dot plus um, p0 dqi dot dq0. Okay. Um, plus uh, h times the sum from j equals 1 to s of bj p j dot. Okay, so I'm taking all the j dependent terms, it's like I'm taking them out, and then I'm taking all the i dependent terms and taking them out. Okay, so it's this thing times the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi d qi dot uh, d q0. Okay, so now we rewrite this in the following way. Okay, so we have, um, um, so I'm going to take this p0 term out. So this is p0 um, multiplied into h sum from i equals 1 to s bi d qi dot d q0. Okay, and um, plus, so there's still this pi dot term, plus h uh, sum from i equals 1 to s of bi uh, pi dot. <coughs> okay, and then there's this term here, okay, plus uh, h sum from j equals 1 to s of bj pj dot, and then h sum from i equals 1 to s of bi uh, dqi dot dq0. Okay, so so let's look at that for a second. And, and uh, in particular, it's like that these two terms, it's like which look uh, identical. Uh, so let's try to uh, see whether we can say something about that. So uh, one observation, of course, is that uh, this looks very, very similar, of course, to uh, what we've seen before, right, which is uh, this expression here, right? And if you recall, it's like the way we got this expression uh, is to differentiate the defining equation for one of the internal stages, okay? Um, except that again, it's like you have these, um, you have this uh, AIJ coefficient, but now you have a BI coefficient. Uh, so if you have a BI coefficient, uh, that means that it corresponds to the equation for the uh, you know, it's like the actual answer, right, Q1. Uh, so let's see uh, what uh, happens if instead of differentiating the internal stage equation, uh, we differentiate the equation for Q1 uh, in terms of the quadrature approximation that's like uh, involving the, um, <coughs> um, the derivatives, if you will, okay? So, so there's, let me do a slight aside, if you will, okay? So we know that q1 is equal to q0 plus h times the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi uh, qi dot, right? That's uh, one of the equations, it's like, which uh, are given, it's like by a partition Rogakuda method. Uh, so I can differentiate this respect to q0. So this gives me um, um, basically d q1 d q0, uh, but the q1 to q0 uh, is, uh, is 0, okay? So, uh, so this is 0 on the one hand, um, um, and uh, this is equal to the identity plus h times the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi, okay, and then the qi dot dq0, okay, all right, um, and, and the reason, of course, why q1, q0, it's like uh, the partials are uh, zero is because you have to prescribe both q0 and q1, so in general, they're independent of each other. Okay, so, so what that's telling you, if you will, is that this h sum from i equals 1 to s of bi uh, dqi dot dq0 term, which shows up here, 
and here is equal to minus the identity. Okay, so you get p0 times minus the identity, right, plus uh, h, the sum from i equals 1 to s of bi, pi dot, plus uh, h, the sum from j equals 1 to s of bj, pj dot. So of course this is uh, the same as this thing except with a dummy index. So if you prefer I can just change this indexing to j instead without any change. And then this of course is uh, minus the identity. Okay, so that tells you that this term cancels out of this term. So this cancels with this term. And you're just left with p0 times minus the identity, which is just minus p0. Okay, so that's the equation you want, right? That's one of the uh, discrete, uh, sort of the implicit form of discrete all Lagrange equations, right? Is that uh, the partial derivative of LD respect to q0 is equal to minus p0. And then by a similar argument, you can also show, you can also show that um, basically the LD, the Q1 at Q0, Q1 is equal to P1, okay? So the argument again is, is very, very similar. Uh, and together it's like this then allows you to conclude that the uh, discrete Hamiltonian flow map associated with uh, that discrete Lagrangian is uh, equivalent to the uh, sort of symplectic partition runge kuda method, okay? All right, so, so that's basically uh, the proof there.